What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we do have some empty making methods, some snipe filters, and all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash the like button. Let's get 120 likes on this video because this video is going to make you a lot of MT. And also, if you listened to my methods yesterday, it's also going to make you a lot of MT. So, please, 120 likes in the video, drop the sub because we are on the road to 11. 0.5k once we do hit 11.5k we will give away mt on twitter and insta so 100,000 mt away once we do hit 11.5 a sub will be greatly appreciated we post at least two times a day so yeah please drop the sub that would be sick and um yesterday we did get super packs also we are selling mt on xbox and ps4 if you do need mt make sure to hit me up on twitter for cheap fast reliable prices and guys today Today, 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 we have no content. We have this terrible Alonzo Morning Locker Code that is probably dropping around 1 Eastern. I don't even understand what is the point of dropping a Diamond Alonzo Morning. Nobody is going to use him, not even if it's a free card. He's not good whatsoever. But yeah, we got an Alonzo Morning card. And yeah, today, we do have these Super Packs, which are gone tomorrow, which I expect some content to drop tomorrow. I expected some fire to drop today, Locker Code-wise, but uh, nothing. So yeah, we got the Alonzo Morning. These flash packs were obviously the worst flash packs ever. I heard the odds on these were terrible. And also, I finally got my new remote, played some unlimited, and lost by two points because I missed a wide open three to end the game with Galaxy Opal, Dwayne Wade, and Galaxy Opal, Paul George. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm trash. Oh my god, the rage. I was so mad. I got off. I was 4-0. I was also 11-0 and got an error code, and then I restarted, lost at 4-0, and missed a wide open three. So, yeah, Unlimited has been rough. I don't even want to even try to go 12-0. I'm just so pissed. The game is simply broken. The game plays slower than usual. I don't even know. The game's just off. But anyways, we got some market talk today. Michael Red, if you guys invested at 14, 10 to 14K, man, he's up to 19K. So... Big W's in the chat for us. He's around 19. Oh, give me that. Ah. Oh, we missed it. But yeah, man, this Michael Red made us a ton of MT. This one's going to sell any second. And he's probably going to go over 19K, man. I say you do hold on to these cards for further notice because Michael Red is a very good card. He is a very good card. I was using him for a very long time. He has great defense, great steal, great shot, amazing jump shot. He also has how many hit badges? 37 all fame badges. So... I definitely recommend you guys do keep continuing trying to snipe this card if you haven't. This card made me a lot of MT. I've picked up a couple for 14 and 11K. I also picked up Wiggins. I also picked up Dang. And I also picked up Bird. So let's look at Wiggins price. I got a Wiggins for 11,000 MT. And yeah, Wiggins is very good. So let's see. Wiggins, I already made MT right there. So let's see what he's at. He's at 21,000 almost. So 21K from 11K, that's about 8,000 MT profit off the one card. So if you guys listen to the methods, man, the Flash 5, I think, Pink Diamond Filter. Yeah, Flash 5, Pink Diamond Filter, man. This one has been popping off for a while. Every time they drop anything to do with Flash, this filter with Wiggins, Red, and all that good stuff is really, really OP. So definitely try it out. I'm just surprised that Red is cheaper than Wiggins. I don't know. I find that kind of crazy. And also, um... There's a lot going on. We still have the Spotlight Sim. Terrible Super Packs in here. I mean, like, they're not good because if you really spend the VC on these, you're not going to get that much MT. There's not that much reward out of these. They're really not good. They're out for a while because they're that bad. So, yeah. Um, this week, I say we do get a huge market crash on Friday. It has to happen because if you think about it, Prime Weeks is most likely the week that's not too deadly. Like, this week wasn't too deadly. They had Kemp, Oladipo, not, not the best cards. They're decent cards. And there's not really any cards, like, that are really, really, like, I, like, nothing. They're really not that good. Like, they don't really catch your eye like that. I'm expecting a huge fan favorites 3 to drop or something big in general because if you think about it, they're due for a market crash. So, 
I see a market crash 110% coming. Now, what should you do? I say you keep your investments and you could sell your whole team. I say Thursday. I think Thursday they're going to drop some fire. They're probably going to drop buzzers tomorrow and they're not going to be so OP. So what should you do? What should you do? Sell your team Thursday. I think that's a good day to sell. Um, personally, um, Giannis, man, this card is so rare to this day. It's crazy. Giannis is still a 400k. It really just shows how OP this card is and how much the Opal isn't worth it. And also, if you guys have like Opal Giannis, Opal LeBron guys, make sure to sell them because what the hell is going on? 2.6 mil. It just shows, man, these Opals that they drop that are supposed to be rare are so rare to the point that they go for this much MT. So if you picked up LeBron for like a mil 900k about last week or two weeks ago, you are now going to make a mil MT. So it just shows... How some of these cards really have some crazy value. And if you have like any of those big name cards, please go ahead and sell them because you're not going to see those cards up there for a while. Also, Shaq was around 700, 800. He's up to a mil again with 51 minutes left. This is insane, man. The market is very high right now. I mean, it's not a bad time to sell. A lot of cards are still cheap, but this is definitely, <coughs> oh my God, <coughs> this is definitely a good time to sell. Um... I don't know, man. Bosch is up 100k. Hito Turkoglu is up a lot. Like, the market's low-key inflated as hell. Paul George is going to stay there, I feel like, for a while. He'll probably drop to 400 eventually. But, guys, this is insanity, man. This is crazy, in my opinion. Um, There's a lot going on in the market. A lot of stuff is rising. And I honestly, if I were you, you could wait till Thursday. But, honestly, you never know what 2k might draw. I think it's a good time to sell now. To be completely honest with you guys, am I going to sell my team? I'm going to continuously try to go 12-0. I've moved Eddie Curry to the starting lineup because, dude, Eddie Curry is absolutely amazing. I replaced him with David Robinson. I put in Eddie Curry, and he was just greeting shots. I'm like, dude, Eddie Curry's the man. I have to use Eddie Curry. So I moved him to the starting lineup with AD. And let me tell you one thing. Eddie Curry, the man, is really good. And if you guys don't know, I talk about him in every video. Man, if you guys invested in when Prime Super Packs were out, you made 40k MT easily. Um, Eddie Curry, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's check his price. Hold up one second. Yeah, he's so expensive. I'm telling you, man. No, literally just get Eddie Curry. He's literally the man. Start him. He's so, so OP. He's up over 81,000 MT. Like, he's that good. He's almost 100,000 away. Wow, bro. Eddie Curry's at 90k. So, if you invested in him... You could now make 50,000 MT profit off one card, okay? Honestly, I'm going to say this. This is a very good time to sell cards. This is, market's very inflated. Like I said, man, when they drop, when they drop uh, Prime Super Packs, it's always a very good time to sell. Prime Super Packs is literally just, yo, the market's going up, sell your cards, bro. That's literally it. I love Prime because it's like, okay, you can buy all these Opals. They're going to rise. Now, every single card in this collection has rose. Giannis is up 100K. Clay's the only one that dropped because he was very spammed. Bowl Bowl's up a lot. Manu Bowl's up. Lamar Odom's up. Paul George is up. There's so many cards that are up, but I would not say sell Luka and Lamar. Even though I don't like this Luka, I think he does get burnt a lot. I'm not a fan of him. But, yo, Giannis, LeBron, um, all these rare cards. Sapphire, Manu Bowl, if you guys invested in him. Man, you made so much MT. I told you guys to invest in him. Look at his price. He was at 30k in my video when I told him to invest 25 to 30k. He's at 70k. I didn't even invest. I didn't even trust my own investment. But yeah, he's up a lot. And definitely, we are going to see an end game promo this week. I think it's fan favorites three. It's gonna be some crazy nonsense because, bro, at this point in the game, they're running out of stuff to drop. I I feel like they're gonna drop a Sean Marion soon, in which is probably gonna be one of the best all around players in the game. Even though he does have a very weird jump shot, I don't care. I'm still gonna rep Sean Marion. I love him. But yeah, um, this set, man, Giannis, Chris Bosh, this set's worth way over 2 mil. So if you guys have these cards, make sure to sell. And honestly, that's all we got for the video. Also, we have new intro coming soon. This video should definitely help you make MT. Just sell your cards, get ready for Friday, get on the pink diamond filter, diamond filter. And yeah, that's all we got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. We're having a locker code video coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.